Good morning. We're here on the patio of ATC Den with Laura Krudner. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Um, so tell us about this gorgeous space. So ATC Den is the brick and mortar manifestation of Among the Colors, mm -hmm. which is a lifestyle blog mm -hmm. I started two years ago. I, um, I moved here from San Francisco and I've lived in a bunch of other cities in mm -hmm. Brooklyn and Atlanta and I just am so in love with the creative community here in Denver and I really wanted to create a platform that gave Denver a way to interact with all these other creative communities and give us our own voice here in Denver. And you are an artist predominantly? Yes. Okay, so tell me about your art. What is your medium? So I am a contemporary abstract painter mm -hmm. and I work mostly in poured painting techniques with acrylic, enamel, and almost anything I can find to write with. So I use a lot of charcoal, pastel, paint marker, and ink uh, drafting in my painting. So I'll like layer in acrylic painting with layers of the drawing and I kind of go back and forth. So what are your thoughts on Denver's art scene? I think Denver's art scene is really exciting mm -hmm. because it's small and it's young, but there's a lot of excitement and support around it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find really refreshing here is people want to come out to art exhibits. And when you go to an art exhibit, it's not just other artists mm -hmm. and art students, which is great, but it's nice that there's people from the community that really want to come out and see what's going on. And then we're so lucky to have these um, world-class museums that we have here. What would you say are like your top few tips for novices like me where I go to a gallery and like I, you know, either I like it or I don't, but how to even appreciate art or what to think about? Because basically I always say like, oh, wow, that's really postmodern just because I think that makes me sound really smart. Yes. Yes. But well, everything is postmodern. Oh, so okay. that's, that's unless, well, everything that you're going to see in a contemporary art gallery mm -hmm. is, you know, we're post we're, we're post-modern era mm. unless you went and saw like Renaissance painting Got painting it. if you went and saw like the Monet exhibit at the Denver Art Museum mm -hmm. don't say it's post-modern okay <laughs> um I think the key with me for art is I want it to be accessible for mm -hmm. people so like I have a master's degree in art because I like nerded out in art school for four years and I can go into s and, and go in and understand the jargon that they're using in a gallery mm -hmm. or a museum but sometimes that can even be a disadvantage mm -hmm. I feel like art should be looked at like food like mm -hmm. you know it's like we all have our own taste palette we like different things I think tomatoes are the best thing in the world you might think tomatoes are, are weird and gooey mm -hmm. it, that doesn't mean that your value is not just as important so I think it's about going in and just letting it be sensory mm -hmm. and looking and thinking and seeing what it feels like and what it looks like to you and making your or, you know kind of judgments on that mm -hmm. and I always say look and see and look for like two minutes, mm -hmm. not two seconds. They say the average person looks at a painting or a piece of art for two seconds. Hmm. That's as long as people's attention right. span are. But if you just kind of look at it and experience it like you would somebody playing a song and then figure out what your taste is around it and then read what it's about. Do you want to do some lightning round questions? What is your biggest indulgence? French fries and whiskey. Definitely salty, but it's all about whatever sauce is on the side. Ooh, like, tell me more about that. Garlic aioli, <laughs> yeah. truffle aioli is yeah. my favorite. Okay, good. Uh, coffee or tea? Tea, jasmine tea. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Cheers.